we we are in central uh, eastern equatorial state Magui county Magui payam and kilo village there was heavy fighting before 2013 the one between uh, the north and uh, the south there was a lot of uh, area bombardment which left behind a lot of uh, cluster munition there was again a war broke out in 2013 it also recontaminated the areas which were already contaminated. So this uh, series of war has left Magui up to date uh, with uh, full of uh, contamination from different kinds of uh, unexploded ordnance. The DRC uh, was in Magui since uh, the early 2020. Assessment was done through the mine action department and the uh, mobile response team. That's where it was decided that uh, we need to deploy a mine action team in Magui. From 2020, we have been doing uh, mine clearance, we have been doing risk education, and we have been doing uh, some uh, referrals. So after uh, land has been cleared, we refer now land uh, usage to different, uh, uh, to different people, different beneficiaries. But uh, in Magui, for people like uh, Agnes, who uh, who are like staying within the areas which we are clearing, they benefited from uh, the area now usage because they could not farm, they could not do any other activities because the land was uh, highly contaminated by the ammunition. So at this point, they are very happy now they can do their activities. We do referrals, we make sure that the land that has been cleared by the technical team is put into proper use. You realize that uh, most of this, uh, you know, fertile, I mean, uh, fertile land uh, is used for agriculture. So it doesn't make any sense if this same land is tilled uh, in the in the traditional way. So we we, we make sure that uh, the, the farmers are trained uh, such that they're able to put the land into into proper use in order to to realize better produce. In some areas within the same market, there are some issues when people, uh, before land is cleared, land doesn't belong to anyone, but after the land has been cleared, now people will come and claim that land after. So what DRC is doing is we refer back to the, the local authorities whenever we are doing handover of any area which we finish. Then it's up to local authorities to resolve uh, those issues. Our program is here in Magui started uh, last year in September when uh, LWF gave us some grant uh, to work on a project uh, called uh, promoting socio-economic integration for refugees and host community. And it is in this project that uh, we, we came into contact with the DRC, uh, whom uh, we met in one of the meetings and they also explained that they, uh, they are doing mine clearance here and there are some people who use right to land, not build them but with the land mines and after the land mine being uh, big, they need to know more about their land rights. Then we decided to form a committee uh, known as Collaborative Dispute Resolution Committee uh, in each payam. And uh, this committee were formed uh, to ensure that uh, they contribute in resolving land disputes at the community level. And because the administration of return, because sometimes we find that uh, the head of the family, either being man or the women, sometimes all of them uh, pass on in the camps, but the children need to come back and they need to get their real place. And uh, DRC, they come even for us to mobilize the community. Now it is the land, land, land is now clear for you. What can you do for the land? They come and they train us. After training us, they say that now your land is clear, you can just plant. Uh, if you want to dig in something, you dig. That is why we are digging. Uh, by, by now, we are doing with those of uh, DRC. We, they are with us now. They train us even to plant. Yeah. As DRC, we, we make sure that uh, we identify the needs of, of these beneficiaries. Uh, knowing uh, the, the fact that, uh, of course, 
the, 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 the needs of these beneficiaries always keep changing, they are never static. So we always adjust accordingly, we are still doing more, uh, we'll try to do more assessment to see uh, which other needs may arise, especially in Magui, because that's where we are actively, uh, so that we can now engage more partners to see how uh, the socio-economic impact of the land clearance in Magui can really be maximized. And, and that is our ultimate goal. I really enjoy seeing people being safe. Uh, I've always been wanting to see people safe, to see children playing football, using the land very well. So uh, I really like to do this for the sake of people.